Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to install motion graphic files and I will give you for free a pack with a lot of resources for you to make your YouTube videos amazing. 100 motion graphic files. Are you ready? Intro. Okay guys, the first thing you have to do is to check in the description of this video down below and you'll find this link and as soon as you click it, you're going to come here, okay? This is my landing page, YouTube free pack, okay? It's going to be a zip file that you're going to download. You have to put your email here. I'm gonna do an example, I'm gonna put mine. Then you click send me the free pack. And then you can see success. Now check your email for your free pack. And don't forget also to check the spams. Sometimes it goes to the, to the spams. That's why I put this here, okay? Let's go to the email. And when you open the email, you'll see this. Thanks for watching my videos and here's your pack. Actually, I'm telling you also here, I'm creating a big YouTube pack for near future. So you have to be prepared. You'll see, I'll let you know. Just subscribe to the channel so you'll see. Okay, to the point, <laughs> you just click here the button download and look what is going to happen. It's a starting to download. So you're downloading the file. I already did, so I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna show you where is it. Normally when you download files, they come to the download folder in your computer. I don't know how did you set up your computer. So basically you'll know where is it, but I have it here, okay? I just put it here. So this is the zip file that is gonna come. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna extract here. I will suggest you to be organized. If you have it in downloads, create a folder, put it inside the folder, title your folder so you don't miss it. And then you do extract here. And this is what is going to be extracted, okay? this over here now we're going to open this and you're going to have three folders you have the fonts because i'm giving you some fonts that are not from adobe and instead of you looking for the fonts online and downloading the fonts no 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 i already give it to you here and it's very easy to install it's literally you go for example to this one adam uh, otf you just double click and you have this and you put install it's as simple as that i already installed it so i don't need to install it again now these are the files youtube resource files you click here you'll see it's actually more than a hundred it's 105 mogert files is that mogert that's the way you pronounce it i don't know well okay let's assume it's mogert <laughs> then you come to previews this Guys, it took me so much time to do this. So please, 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 please use it. Use it. It took me so long. Look at this. I made previews of every single resource I'm giving you. Let's go, for example, to elements. You have here 15 videos that I did. 15. I did it individually and very organized as you can see elements 1, elements 2. These names are exactly the same names that you're going to find in the files so you are not going to miss it. It's like but I just have uh, elements 4. How does it look like? You just click in elements 4 and you'll see the video and you'll see how it looks like. Okay? So I have everything here. Everything. All the previews. For social media, subscribe, for example, we have these subscribe buttons. If you click here, you can see how it's going to be. Okay, so you have all the Mogert files in previews here. Everything. 105 videos I did. Okay, I'm emphasizing too much in that, but I'm happy to do it for you guys. Okay, resource. How are you going to install it? These YouTube resource files. You can see here the files. What you do is I'm going to leave you in the description. I'm not I didn't put the, the note here in the in the zip file because actually that's not the way I install my files. But I'm going to leave you in the description the path. OK, and this is the path I'm going to show you. So I have the path here. I'm Like I said, I'm going to leave it to you in the description. You're going to copy this path. Oh, by the way, I almost committed a mistake in the path says username. So when you bought the computer, laptop, whatever you're using, normally, as soon as you start, they ask you to put a name to your computer. In my case, I put my name because it's my computer. So it's Mario. Okay, now I'm going to tape Mario. So you have to change this part here. Username, you put your username. Okay, let's go here. We copy this. Let's open a new explorer so I can show you better how it works. So we are in C, local disk. Okay, whatever your local disk is. Maybe yours is not C. Maybe it's a Z or D or F. I don't know. Okay, C. Now what we're going to do, we leave the C here and we paste what you just copied, the path. You're going to click enter and there you go. 
This is what it's opening. So what you do, and what I see a lot of people doing, most of the people are doing it this way, following this path. You come to the files that we just downloaded. This is where all the resources are. All these Mogart files, as you can see, are here. So what you do is you copy here, copy this. We come here to the path which is open and we paste it here. And that's it, as simple as that. But why? I'm not using this way. I'm going to show you. Let's go to Premiere Pro. If we come to Essential Graphics, this is normally what you see. You see a lot of resources. These are resources maybe I created, maybe I bought, maybe it comes some of them with the Adobe, maybe I downloaded from Adobe. So all the resources are here. So as soon as you do what I just did, copy the folder in that path that I gave you, all the Mogart files, the 105 Mogart files I gave you are going to appear here. It's not organized because then how do you know which are the, the files I gave you and which are the files you created or which are the files that Adobe gave you or maybe you bought uh, some files. How do you know which ones are which ones? You're going to have all messed up here, everything all together. You can look for them individually here, but it's going to take you so much time. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you my way. We're going to come back here. I'm going to erase this. So we start from zero. Okay, it's erased. We're going to come to Essential Graphics again. Essential Graphics, these little three lines. Manage Additional Folders. You're going to put Add, and you're going to find where your folders are, OK? And it's here. You see, Mario, this is exactly where I downloaded the, the, the zip file. I unzip it, and this is what I found fonts, previews, and YouTube resource files. What you have to do, this is where the Mogart files are. You just select this folder and you're going to put select folder. And what you're going to do is click OK. And you'll see what is going to happen here. There you go. Now you still have all the files here, all the Mogart files here, but 105 are mine. I am giving them to you. But how are you going to know which ones? You come here to local. Look, it changed. Now you have an arrow and you can choose here because in the future, I'm going to keep giving you things for free. So you're going to have more folders. So just to be organized, do it this way and you'll have them here. Very nice and organized. We're going to YouTube resource files. And as you can see, it's just the folder folder that you uh, added. Look at this. You can check all the files that I gave you. So it's more organized. It's just organization. It's not that it's just the only way, but for me, that's the easiest and more organized way. And as you can see here, it says Mario Tech, others, Mario Tech, others. If you come down here, it says, for example, um, Mario Tech Opener 8, Subscribe 6. And remember in the previews that I showed you, you have these names, Opener 8, Subscribe 6, so you can actually look at the preview before you use it. But still, this is a good way to see it also, okay? But I, I did the previews for you, so it's easier for you, so that your workflow goes much better, okay? Now, how to use it? It's incredibly simple. What you do is you just click here, and you just pull this over your video. And that's it. You can see it's here. Now it says Facebook here, it says Instagram here and subscribe. But what if you don't want it to say Facebook? Or what if you don't want it to say subscribe? You click here, this is the Mogart file. And then it goes to edit here in Essential Graphics. And you can see it says your Instagram and you can change your Instagram and put yours. In this case, I'm going to put mine. Mario Tech Videos, there you go. And that's it, it's changing. Now your Facebook, you can change your Facebook also for whatever you want. You can come here to subscribe and instead of subscribe, you can put hello. <laughs> and then you'll see that it's going to change here to hello. So it's very customizable, okay? So it's, it's really nice. I really like it. Now something else I want to show you because this is very easy to use is look at this one. This is very nice. These are the uh, next episodes. You put it here and look at this. This is so cool to use at the end of your YouTube video so people can know what is coming and what is uh, what is that you are producing for the next episode, you know? And then, of course, if you click here, you select the file, you can also change. Thank you for watching. You can put something else. You can put next episode here or next episode here or whatever you want to do. You can add it here and change it. And you can mix actually with other Moggards, okay? And I'm going to show you something really cool. Let's go to the editing now. 
we're going to stay here. Let's going to put a little bit higher because I want to show you something really cool. So if you grab, for example, this video here, you see this, you have to put it under, okay, under the, the Mogert file. Now you will see, yeah, but this is one video there. I don't understand the purpose of that. Okay, you can put here next video and next video. So what you do is you come to the video, you come to the position of the video, you can actually make it like smaller and you can put it here and you see what I mean now? You can put like your next video there. You put a, li a little bit of the video. So people are like, oh, it looks nice. I want to watch that video. And you can put another one under and you can put it here and another one under and you can put it here. It's really cool. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting every week. Also, I want to let you know that I'm preparing a big motion graphic YouTube pack full of resources. You'll not believe how much work I'm putting on it. So be prepared. And you can actually click in the bell to be notified. Also, if you want to support me to keep creating tutorials and free packs like this for you, I will leave you a link in the description where you can actually buy me a coffee or two or three. <laughs> it's up to you. Until next time.